Susan LeBlanc, and this is Conversations with the Goodman School of Business. And my guest today is Professor Teju Harath from the Goodman School of Business. Welcome, mm -hmm. Teju. Thank you. You are an expert in cybersecurity. Well, uh, yeah, I do you, work in information yeah. security area. So tell us a little bit about your research. Um, my research uh, focuses mainly on behavioral aspects of information security and management of security. Mm -hmm. So I kind of focus in these two streams mainly. Yeah, and it's a big topic right now. Yes. I mean, you can't you can't spend a, a day without seeing something in the papers about a, a company being hacked or or people falling prey uh, to mm -hmm. to phishing attacks. Um, yeah. it, it's constantly uh, in the news. In the news. So why is, well, other in than the fact that it's constantly in the news, why is it so important right now to really take take this very seriously? Um, because, uh, I mean, uh, whether we like it or not, information technology has become indispensable part of our life, whether it is, it is our individual lives or perhaps in the workplaces. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as the information technology has become so pervasive uh, and as its use grows, uh, so are the threats growing. Mm -hmm. And that is why it's very important uh, for all of us to take it seriously because there are many different types of threats that plog us uh, as individual computer users or perhaps as employees or organizational uh, computer users. And that's why it has become uh, an important topic. Yeah, for sure. Uh, what are some of the some of the things that you're aware of right now that people should be looking out for? Um, I mean, I, the list kind of goes on and on and on. Um, uh, in general, uh, uh, you know, if you think about our individual computer use, um, uh, many of the uh, issues that come to our uh, to light are in behavioral aspects of mm -hmm. information systems. Uh, and uh, in that stream of research, we kind of evaluate um, what are the uh, vulnerabilities in people, in people dimension that actually mm -hmm. we right. can uh, try to uh, 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 work on. Mm -hmm. um, and I have been working in several kind of themes of research in that particular aspect. Uh, you probably know that uh, for years I've been working in phishing and mm -hmm. it is a social engineering threat. Uh, social engineering threats uh, take advantage of basically our trusting nature and mm -hmm. uh, there are, uh, uh, those issues cannot be really completely overcome by technologies right. and uh, we need kind of different uh, uh, policies, practices or perhaps different methods to overcome those issues. So that is one stream I work and uh, Another uh, relatively recent research we had was on the stress that we face uh, in organizational context. Mm -hmm. Uh, given that uh, the complexity uh, and the overload uh, of the security requirements and uh, constantly changing security environment, the stress that is induced and how actually it affects uh, our, our individual employees. Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, we looked at the disengagement mm -hmm. from the security behaviors. So stress inducing, uh, induced stress basically affecting this in, uh, disengagement. So uh, there are really uh, not just one uh, thing I can mention, but there is just an right. uh, enormous area of research in this, uh, you know, behavioral aspect. Yeah. Of so, it's, so it's not even just, it's, it's not a technological fix for it. No. It's, it's, we have to sort of watch our own behaviors. Exactly. Because, and it, it seems as soon as we sort of are aware of one um, issue or a scam, mm -hmm. another one comes up, and, yeah. and, and you said it's it's our trusting nature. Exactly. And isn't it sad that you know now yeah. we it, 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 you You're almost get to the point that yeah. it's like oh we can't trust anything. Yeah, exactly. You have to doubt everything, and you have to be suspicious of everything, right? Yeah. Uh, and the, why it is happening is because uh, you know um, uh, we can appreciate and acknowledge that. Uh, 
the information itself, it has no ethics, right? People are one of the most uh, important component, or it is actually a cornerstone uh, component that make up the information system. So beyond just the technologies, the people who are using the technologies mm -hmm. and interacting with them, that's where some of these issues arise. So um, there is a kind of a um, uh, saying in information systems that information has no uh, um, ethics. Mm -hmm. It's the people who are using, they have to use those judgments. Right. And the technologies themselves basically uh, cannot be doing the wrong things. It's the people. They do intentionally or unintentionally things uh, that are basically uh, not correct, inappropriate, right? right? right. So that's uh, the kind of a realm of these issues. So we have to take a bit of responsibility for ourselves. Exactly. Yeah. So uh, are there things that you can recommend for people to do to help protect themselves? Uh, you know, there are some common, uh, th uh, 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 I think, uh, recommendations that are given. One of the most thing, uh, most uh, widely uh, uh, used uh, saying is think before you click, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and that is kind of, that's applicable in really a lot of uh, things, activities that uh, we uh, uh, engage in our online uh, behavior or computer use behavior. Mm -hmm. So whether we are clicking on send button on the email or clicking on the link, uh, yeah. that can be anything, but think before you click whether yeah. it's inappropriate. Uh, and uh, uh, appropriately called, there is a security awareness campaign at Brock, yes. right? Think, yeah. uh, think campaign. Uh, so uh, they, uh, if we, if you just go to the ITS website mm -hmm. and their Think Campaign website, you will see a lot of different issues are mentioned there: social mm -hmm. engineering, phishing, the mobile use, uh, the appropriate mm -hmm. internet use, and uh, so many more. Right. Uh, there are certainly guidance uh, documents there, uh, right. and. Uh, uh, policies. Many organizations have policies to guide behaviors mm -hmm. of organizational users. So there are some policy documents as well there, but there is a lot of guidance material yeah. there as well. So it boils down to um, you, we, have to, we have to take a bit of responsibility for ourselves. Yeah. And the main message is think. Think. Think yes. before you click. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for, for dropping by and shedding some light on this. It's a very important topic and something yeah. that's very much in the news these days. Yeah. Um, so we're very uh, grateful to you for all the work that you do to help people navigate their way through this. Um, thank you so much. Well, thank you for inviting me. Thank you. <laughs> and thank you for stopping by and listening to us. And hopefully we'll chat soon.